I'm Suzanne Ridgway from Let Us Eat and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to have three dinners and one dessert. My first dinner is going to be a clip of my stuffed shells that I did in my crock pot. My second one, also in my crock pot, is creamy sausage and potatoes. And then my third is beef tenderloin that my husband prepped that I'll show a, clip, a little clip of in the oven. And my dessert are peanut butter cookies made with Reese's Pieces candies and then little peanut butter cups stuck on the top of them like you used to eat at Christmas time. That is a $5 dessert challenge from the Dollar Tree and you'll see clips on that so let's get right into it. I went leaf peeping this weekend in Cobleskill, New York. Here are some photos. Today is September 30th and this is my homemade stuffed shells for what's for supper. I will be doing two more meals this week and adding a clip each day. Tomorrow is going to be my creamy sausage and potatoes. And Friday I was gifted a big bag of breaded drumsticks, miniature ones, and I'm going to look for something to do with that. Probably chicken and gravy. I don't know. I'll think about it and I'll look on Pinterest. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. Here is the creamy sausage and potatoes with my beef kielbasa. I used five russets with the skins on, cut into cube-sized pieces. A half an onion chopped, three celery stalks chopped thin, and I added in a can of gravy, two cans of cream soup, one cream of mushroom, one cream of celery. I also added in two cans of water, about six ounces. Do not dilute the cream soups. Add the water in separately, and you can add in a tablespoon of flour to make it thick. I also put in three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper and garlic. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Hi, I'm Suzanne Ridgway from Let Us Eat, and I just made some peanut butter cookies from the $5 challenge that's popular here on YouTube. And this is the Betty Crocker peanut butter mix that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. All it took was a tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of oil. And I got these candies to sit on top in little crowns. And I added Reese's Pieces candies in it. So I got two packages of the peanut butter cookies, a box of the candies, and two bags of the Reese's Pieces candies, which equals $5.00. And then I'm going to take you over to my stove to show Here's you what, what they, they look, look like. like. I did two packages. So you double the recipe. They made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A baker's dozen, generous sizes. You're going to want to preheat the oven to 375. And then pop them center in the oven. I add parchment paper onto my cookie sheet, also from the Dollar Tree, because my cookie sheet's very old. Now I'm going to time this for 18 minutes. And then I'm going to check them. About 5 minutes before they're done and take them out and do the fork crisscross and put a piece of chocolate on each one of them. And put them back in the oven for a few more minutes if they need it. And then I'll let them cool. This is my $5 dessert challenge for, for the Dollar Tree.